Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah to the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we, we bless you this morning, Lord God. We give you praise and honor and glory this morning. Father. It's in you, Lord, we live and we move and we have our being, Father. And if it wasn't for you, Lord God, breathing into these lungs this morning, Lord, yeah, yeah. we would not be here, Lord. Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, you are the giver and take us like God. <laughs> Father, we don't take it lightly, Lord God, for everything that you're doing for us, God. We are so grateful. Yes, Lord. We are and ever indebted unto you, Lord Father. So, God, we ask that you cleanse our hearts and minds this morning, God. Purge us, oh God. Touch their ears, Lord God, that they may be able to hear what thus says the Lord, Father. Yeah. Speak through these lips of clay, Father, what you may, Father. As I hide behind your word, God, yeah. I say have your way in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. We bind up the hand of the enemy right now. He's a defeated foe. He is under our feet. Yeah. And the Bible says he's a liar and the father of mine. So yeah. he gets yeah. no glory yeah. in this place, Father. Yeah. So, God, we ask that you rest upon us today, Lord God. Let your spirit fall in this place, Lord God, like never before, God. That would head out every ounce of darkness. Everything that the enemy uh, try to plant, Lord God, to come up against your children, Father. Yeah. Let uh, God arise and let all his enemies be scattered in the name of Jesus, God. We bless you, Lord. We lift up every church service, every prayer circle, every gathering, Lord God. Whether they be in the streets, Lord God, the, the sewer, Lord God, or work, wherever, Lord God. We lift them up to you, Lord God. And we say, have your way. Yeah. And we thank and bless you, God, for the many works that you've done and what you're thank getting ready to do, Lord God. Thank we give you praise, Lord. honor, and glory. In Jesus' name, Jesus we say name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. It's okay to clap. Okay. 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 Praise God. So we're talking about the armor, the breastplate of righteousness. Yeah. And I want to start off, you know, I'm going to start off giving definitions. So I'm going to start off giving you the definition of righteousness. Righteousness is the quality of being morally right or justifiable. Acting in accord with divine or moral law, free from guilt or sin. I'm going to read it again. The quality of being morally right or justifiable. Acting in accord with divine or moral law. Free from guilt or sin. Man, that's the English version of righteousness. Amen. You got two types of righteousness. We got self-righteousness, which is your own self, puffed up with pride. Know it all. Um, you can do everything. You don't need no help. We don't need God. And, you know, we're doing this on our own. And then you got the righteousness of God. Which is yielded unto him. Knowing that God has done everything. Through God we can do all things. Amen. He is our strength. He is the way maker. He's the way to the life. Hallelujah. He's our keeper. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the one that's seen us through. Now that's the righteousness of God. Trusting and totally submitting your will for his will. In yeah. the name of Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then if you do that, it takes walking through obedience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It takes sacrifice. Mm -hmm. It takes time and effort to do these things. Mm -hmm. That's why God, he forewarned us with the armor. He told us to put it on. Yeah. Because he can't put it on. You got to do it. You have Amen. a choice. Amen. Amen. When, you, Amen. when you wake up in the morning, you have a choice to be sad. Yeah. You have a choice to be mad. Come on. Yeah. You have a choice to pray. Yeah. You have a choice to not pray. My yeah. Lord. Jesus. It's up to you. God said it's up to you. What how what are you going to do? God provided things for us at the cross. Amen. He gave it to us so we are to put it on. He told us about these things. He put warned us so yeah. we may be able we may be able to stand. Amen. Because he know the adversary, the devil brought him through and fro through the earth, Lord, seeking whom he may destroy in the Bible. Yeah. Amen. But we ought not let the devil devour us. God gave us weapons. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. And it's for defense. We don't have to go on the offense, but you go on it with with the sword of the spirit, amen. But yeah. God just told us to put on the breastplate. Amen. See, the breastplate was particularly particularly made to protect, you know, our chest area. Yeah. Like your heart, yeah. your lungs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, whatever else in the liver, your appendix, everything, your stomach. He he made it for that specific reason. Mm -hmm. Now for your heart, out of out of the issues of, the, of your heart, your mouth will speak. Mm -hmm. What's in your heart will come up out of you. Yeah. If, yeah. if you are bitter, if you're frustrated, and you're angry, and yeah. you lustful, you perverted, or whatever, it's gonna come up out of you. Yeah. Now, 
out of your lungs, God give us the breath of life, yeah, yeah. which is the Ruach Kadash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the breath of life. He breathed through these lungs. He woke us up. He breathed in um, uh, Adam's nostrils. Amen. He breathed in us. Yeah. Amen. He's, he put that spark in us. Let that be light in these children. Yeah. And these little vessels of clay. Now, the enemy can suck your lungs. My Lord. When he take your worship and praise away from you. Yeah. You, if, he, if, he, if the enemy is taking that away from you, then you don't have your breastplate. Nah, Come on nah. now. If it's hard for you to say hallelujah, then you don't have your breastplate. That's nah, right. That's nah. right. And, and, and it ain't just about coming to church, lifting your hands and worship. Mm, yeah. Your life ought to be yeah. an expression mm. and a worship unto God. That's right. That's right. Amen. Everything is worship unto God. That's right. What you do is unto God. How you live is unto God. Mm -hmm. How you treat people is unto God. Amen. Everything that we do is unto God. Thank you, Lord. Now, see, the enemy want to come in. And suck all the life about you, saying that you ain't gonna be nothing. Yeah. This is how he sounds. You a liar. You did this, you did that. No, you ain't did nothing. That's all right. That's no, you ain't did nothing, but this you, you sat there and you pray, but that's how the enemy works. That's his that's the devil's righteousness, amen. Uh -huh. He come to steal, kill, and destroy. Yes. He come to take away everything that you own. He don't care nothing about you. He will let you do his will until he's through with you. Amen. Yes, you ever been with somebody that used you up and then when they don't you to get rid of you? Uh -huh. They can be a job like that. They yeah. use you up until they can't use you no more. Yeah. Yeah. One, one quick move, they're fired. Because they don't care about you. They just want to use you. Yeah. That's how the devil do. He wants to use us. That's right. But that's why we ought to keep on a breastplate. Because in our heart <clears throat> are the issues of life. Yeah. And some people cuss a lot. Mm -hmm. Some people yell a lot. Yeah. Some people just got perverted talking. Man, you just got to sit around. You can hear all the stuff. And you're like, man, that's up, up in there. And, and none of us exempt because everybody ain't got stuff in their heart. Yeah. That don't don't want nobody to know about. And, and just only God knows. Amen. So yeah. as long as God knows, then if, if you know that He watching, you make you it make you want to do right. Amen. Yeah. Like that, He watches know everything that we doing. Yes, he right. seen what I did at 1 a.m. He see what you do at 1 or 1 a.m. Uh -huh. Even a half a second, yeah. he know what you're thinking about and doing. Yeah, yeah. And it's so hard because we are in these bodies. Amen. We're not Amen. before him yet. Amen. We have not really came before him, but he has came down to us. Yeah. Yeah, he yeah. saved us. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. He baptized us. Glory Amen. be to God. He baptized us into his family. To, we have been adopted unto him. That's why we cry, Abba, Father. Yeah. Amen. Do y'all call him Father when you wake up in the morning? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Do you say, Abba, like, Father, I need you this morning. Yeah. I just feel a little discouraged and I feel perplexed in the spirit, Father. Yeah. But it, you know, I'm speaking to you because you said bring all my prayers to you. You said into the throne room boldly yeah. and make our requests and make known unto you, Father. So I'm doing it right now, God. And yeah. we need a fresh wind. And I've been praying as of late. Yeah. You know, we always pray. And we pray, we ask this God for this and, you know, God for that. Every day, it's like pretty much the same prayer, but it's not wrong with that. But now my prayer has been, been like, Father, who out your spirit upon your people? Yeah. Because we yes. need his spirit. Come on now. Yes. We need yes. his spirit. Yes. We need his presence. Yes. We can do nothing. His Holy, the Holy Spirit will make you stop doing some yes. things you are not to be doing. That's right. Amen. Yes. The Holy Spirit will catch your ear and, and keep you more in tune with God in the name of Jesus. Yes. Think about it. The more the Spirit you have, the more in tune you will with God. That's right. Glory yes. be to God. And God, turn with me to the book of Isaiah. We're going to start at the old, then we're going to move to the New Testament. Amen. Amen. A lot of uh, preachers and stuff. A lot of people don't like the Old Testament. I love it. Yeah. I love the Old Testament. Yeah. That's why I always be preaching from it. Praise <laughs> God. I preach from what God gives me. Yeah. Because it all, the word, all, all of it is wrapped together in one. And it all complements one another. Yeah. Yeah. Isaiah, what? Isaiah chapter 59. I'm going to start at verse 9. This before, this is before God has came to, uh, to save his children, amen? Amen. And he's talking about Israel right here. Some people switch uh, Israel with the church. And, you know, what God has for the people of Israel, the Jews, is different from what he has for the church, amen? amen. But it's all together. You know, we all we all together, one, one Lord, one son, one Messiah, which is Jesus Christ. We all are in him. Amen. Amen. We all are his beloved. Yeah. This ain't a hoop and holler message to get you all rowdy. It's just something to learn. Amen. Amen. So y'all can understand what God is coming from and how far along God has come. 
And like Denise said, time is moving really fast. Yes. Really fast. I mean, goodness, man. It seemed like it was just Friday the other day. Yes. I told uh, my daughter, I said, Daddy, we can't go on already. Already. Right. All right. But praise be to God, we still here. Yes. We're still standing. Amen. Amen. Okay. Isaiah chapter 59, starting at verse 9. It says, Therefore, talking about the children of Israel back in the day, therefore is judgment far from us. Neither does justice overtake us. We wait for the light, but but behold, obscurity, for brightness, but we walk in darkness. Mm -hmm. See, but they confessing now a, a little bit. Mm -hmm. It says, we grow for the wall like the blind, mm -hmm. and we grow as if we had no eyes. Mm -hmm. We stumble at noonday as in the night. Uh -huh. We are in desolate places as dead men. Mm -hmm. We roar all like bears. And more so like does. We look for judgment, which is God, mm -hmm. but there is none. For salvation, but it is far off from us. See, God, Jesus has not had not come at that time. Amen. Mm -hmm. But they but these people right here, they turned their back on God. They were so rebellious. The prophet God will send people, uh, the prophets to come to, to, to speak to them and to tell them about the righteousness and the goodness of God. And you know, y'all forgetting about God, how far he brought. Had brought y'all from, he brought them from a mighty long way. He brought them up out of Egypt unto him. And they, and they so often went to church. Yeah. We forget about the righteousness and the goodness of God. Yeah. We are like some of these people walking still, the church, some people still walking in darkness. Mm -hmm. Still walking in darkness. Not seeking the face of God. Not calling on the Lord. Yeah. When God telling you to do something, you do the opposite. Mm -hmm. But God don't want us to do the opposite. God mm -hmm. wants us to do what he tells us to do. Sometimes yeah. it do hurt. It hurt when sometimes God tell you um, to let down that. And there might be something really good that you might be thinking you're doing good or whatever. Yeah. But God tell you to lay it down, you got to lay it down because he knows, Father knows what's best. Amen. Amen. Just like any father, well not any father, well, every, some earthly fathers, we get it wrong. Amen. But Father in heaven knows what's best. Amen. He knows what we need before we come to him. Yeah. Amen. These people, they turned their back on God. Like many of us, we turn our back on him. God been pulling us out of darkness each day. He's been calling us. He's been whispering to us. Don't go this way. Don't do that. Don't yeah. do this. Don't hang with that person. Don't, don't, don't do that. But we still reject him. Amen. Yeah. And we don't have our breastplate on. And he knows that the enemy can come in. He know that the enemy can steal them seeds that has been planted up in you. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's, it's a bunch of parables about the seeds be, being sown and the enemy coming and stealing them. Yeah. And we let the devil steal them seeds that's been sown in us. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's something else um, to show up to the house of God. That's a good thing. Give yourself a clap for that. Amen. Amen. It's a good thing to come to the house of the Lord. It's not wrong with that. But when you leave the house of the Lord, then you got to be the church. You got to be the church. You got to act like the church. Put on the arm of God. Yeah. Don't take it off, amen. When the amen. people, when the people around you, people around you, um, they need to see something different. You got to be different than them. You That's can't right. do what they do. Yeah. That's what it say. The blind, we like blind. Uh, we we grope the wall like the blind. We are not be like blind. We have light up in us, amen. amen. We got the light of Christ up in us. Yeah. We are not to uh, grope as if we have no eyes, amen. We got eyes to see. We got spiritual eyes. God That's give right. us discernment through the Holy Ghost to see what we need, amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Why do we uh, walk around like we defeated all the time, church? Amen? Like there's no hope. Like we, uh, God ain't our God. Like he ain't our Father. Why do we walk around like that? Yeah, yeah. Without his name. Yeah. And, and when trials and tribulations come, we want to give up all the time. But we ought not give up. It ain't time to give up. God mm -hmm. can't afford for nobody to, to give up and quit. That's right. Come on. It ain't because he know that the, uh, the time is drawing near. And it's getting real late. Hmm. Really late, amen. Mm -hmm. God is. I don't, we don't know when you're gonna come, but it just feel like it. It's you it's look right. around and you see these storms and all this and that happening. We yeah. speak, we preach this every week, mm -hmm. even out of all our messages. It's happening and it's going down, yeah. amen. But the church needs to wake up. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah. talking about each and every one of us individually. Wake up That's in the right. name of Jesus, yeah, amen. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Glory be to God. We are the work. Wise day. Mm -hmm. Nighttime will come when none of us can work. That's right. We ought to put on the armor of light. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Yeah. And even when it's dark, we can walk in darkness because we got the light in us. Yeah. 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 God ain't going to send us out empty-handed. 
Amen. I don't know about you. I don't feel empty hands. Yeah, come on. I feel this Holy Ghost. Amen. Yeah, what I want to do wrong. Amen. I feel this Holy Ghost telling me you know that ain't right. Absolutely. Boy, repent in the that's name right. of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, that's right. And that's what the Holy Ghost do to you. He yes. convicts you. Yes, he does. He corrects you. Amen. He's yeah. stripping you up. Amen. Yeah. He give you joy. Yeah. Yes, he Hallelujah. Who feel the joy of the Lord? Amen. Yeah, I do. Lord, man. Yes. Yeah. The lady said, I do. <laughs> <laughs> spread some of that among some of these people. Hallelujah. <laughs> what you say? Go get your own oil. Like the yeah. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. That's yeah. right. You better get your oil. You better be oiled up, yeah. lubed up. Amen. That's Just be right. lubed. Because I can't give you none of my oil. I need mine. Glory, Glory be to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. In verse 12, I'm in Isaiah chapter 59, brother. Boom. Good to see you and uh, Sister Brenda. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Isaiah 59, I'm at verse 12 right now. It says, For our transgressions are multiplied. We're talking about Israel. Before you, and our sins testify. Look, our sins testify against us. Mm -hmm. These people knew that. But do we know that? Yeah, yeah, come on. For our transgressions are with us, and as for our iniquities, we know them. They mean they saying, Lord, we know that we are wrong, Father. We know that we sinned against you, Lord God. We know that we turned our back on you. We know that we are stiff necked, stubborn, and rebellious. We know that we ain't gonna um do what you tell us to do, but we're gonna come to you and repent. But this time, Lord, we want to get it right this time. Amen. Yeah. Who want to get it right with God this time? Amen. Yeah. Thank you. Last time was different, Father, but this time, Lord God, it's something about this time, Lord Father. Great is thy faithfulness. Every day, brand new mercy. Glory to God. And it says, verse 13 says, in transgressing and in line against the Lord. They not against the Lord. Hmm. And departing away from our God. Hmm. Speaking oppression and revolt. Meaning they went all out against our God. They turned their hearts away from them when they, they started serving uh, other gods, which ain't no gods because they was statues and there's nothing in them but a despot, demonic spirit. Amen. Amen. And it says, speaking oppression and revolt, conceiving and uttering from the heart words of falsehood. Mm. Words yeah. of falsehood. See, out of your heart, that uh -huh. stuff coming out of you. Uh -huh. Oh, God don't care about me. The devil will tell you that too. Yeah, Look what happened. Yeah, you lost your job. <laughs> now, would God make you lose your job? But God allowed but God allowed this to happen. But see, that's what the enemy come in. But God wants us to keep the arm on. See, if you got the arm on, you can you can reject him with the scripture. Get thee behind me, Satan. Yeah. The devil is a liar. Amen. Amen. You gotta keep your arm on. That's Who got right. your arm on this morning? Amen. Amen. Let's Amen. see something. Who got that sword of the spirit? Let me see your sword. Who got the sword? Amen. Amen. This is the sword. Amen. <laughs> Oh, yeah. What does it take? And come on, we read, we bring the sports to the house of the Lord. We read them, amen. Mm -hmm. Who got your shield of faith? Put it up. So nobody got that. Amen. No faith in the house of God. I got mine, amen. Got Who got your faith? Put your hands up, amen. You gotta put every hands up. I guess Brenda can't do it. She over there beating or whatever. I don't know, but amen. At least you ain't got your faith. Your shield of faith. Put your hands up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Praise God. All right, okay. And it says, and justice, and justice is turned away backward. And, and judgment, I'm sorry, and judgment is turned away backward. And justice stands afar off. For truth is falling in the streets, and equity cannot enter. Yes, truth fails. Truth really never fails. Amen. The truth is the truth. The belt of truth. Glory be to God. Yes, truth fails, and he who departs from evil makes himself a prey. I'm going to get down to this. And the Lord saw it. And it pleased him that there was no judgment. Don't you know when you turn away from evil, you've been doing something with people and you turn away, the devil going to come after you, amen, we be his prey. He want to eat each and every one of us up alive, amen. He don't care. The devil does not care about y'all. Right. Amen. He'll use your friends. He can use your family members, your loved ones, amen, your wife, your husband, your mother, your father. They will come against you. Right. Because you turned your back on darkness. Yeah, you yeah. see, a lot of people don't know that they begin being used by the devil. A lot of people don't know that. Yeah. But y'all should know that, right? That's right. Do y'all know when somebody demonically uh uh filled or uh, uh coming against you? Do you know when somebody speaking uh evil things about y'all? Do y'all know that, that 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 is a spirit behind that? Do, yeah. Who knows who knows that? Yeah. And maybe, yeah. But yeah. I, see a lot of people know that, but be a lot of us in here that be doing that too to each other. Uh -huh. yeah. Tearing yeah. each other down with words of unkindness. Uh -huh. Not build, not God. See, God is a build up, but God could tell you now. Amen. Yeah. He chastised, but he, he do that to build us up. Amen. Yeah. But we are not to tell nobody that. Yeah. 
We ought to speak words of encouragement. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Uh, words of love, words of peace. Amen. Words Amen. of restoration. We ought to restore one another. Amen. Amen. We ought to restore one another back to God. Amen. When, some, when you feel down, it ought to be somebody there to a shoulder for you to lean on. If you want a shoulder to cry on, praise be to God. We are the righteousness of Christ. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are not children of the devil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody in here saved, right? Yes, sir. Say yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Well, we got to act like it. Amen. Amen. We're going to keep on moving. Amen. People want to leave, let them go. So open the door for them say, bye-bye. See you later. Amen. Amen. I'm going to serve God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And verse 16 said, and he so that there was no man no, no. back in that day, it, it wasn't. And wonder that there was no intercessor. Mm. Are there, is there any intercessors in this house? Put your hand up if you're an intercessor. I'm a, I like to pray for people. Amen. Intercessor means praying for people. Therefore, his arm brought salvation unto him, and his righteousness is it sustained him. Talk about Christ right now. Mm -hmm. Verse 17. For he put on righteousness. As a breastplate. You see that? If Jesus had Jesus put it on, we ought to put it on and keep it on. Amen. And not take it off. Keep that breastplate on. That's right. Because the enemy, if he can hit your heart, he'll take you down. Hmm. Quick. Yeah. Fast and in a hurry. Yeah. He would when I mean that, he would come at you, put thoughts in your mind and mm -hmm. place them in your heart. Yeah, he will. Evil thoughts. You be like, man, where do these thoughts come from? Yeah. And then you'd be bound up. But we ought to know how to get free. Mm -hmm. Because who the son set free is free indeed. free indeed. When you pray to him, amen, ask for deliverance. Ask for a cleansing. Ask for a healing. Ask for a clean heart. Yeah. Creating me a clean heart, Father, for I may not sin against you. Mm -hmm. Give me a clear mind. A clear mind, a sober mind is to be a uh, focus. Yeah. A lot of people ain't focused. Yeah. It'd be hard for some people to focus on this word. Mm -hmm. Even to sit in church to hear word. Yeah. Yeah. People's yeah. eyes dripped off to this place and that place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. God don't want us to be that way. Mm -hmm. If we as children, we ought to be focused. Straight ahead. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Woo, I thank you, Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. And it says, and the helmet of salvation upon his head. He put this on the Lord. And he put on the garments of vengeance for clothing. And it was clad with zeal as a cloak. Hallelujah. Yeah. It says, according to their deeds, only he will repay. Fury to his adversaries, recompense to his enemies. Mm. To the islands he will repay, recompense. Mm -hmm. This speaks of the defeat of the Antichrist and all his followers at the second coming. Yeah. But Jesus is even defeating our enemies right now. Yes, he is. If he's your father, if he's your rear ward, amen. Yeah, he's going before yeah, us, yeah. amen. Amen. Hallelujah. It says, So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. Mm. Well, the enemy, check, y'all better receive this. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, Hallelujah. the Spirit of the Lord shall lift up the standard yeah. against him. Yeah. Yeah. The Spirit of the Lord, he ain't saying we will do it, he will do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Holy Ghost will do that. Don't y'all know, in the spirit realm, the, we got angels and the Holy Spirit is protecting us. Yeah. Amen. The, when you pray to the Lord, but, um, the Holy Spirit be moaning and groaning and uttering thoughts and uh, praying for people and praying for this and that and even these. Uh, concerns in our body that we go through that we ain't even mentioning. Don't you know how powerful that is? Yeah, yeah. Do y'all know who y'all got on your side? Amen. Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. You gotta act like you know. Amen. Oh. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm thankful this morning. I thank God, hallelujah, for the Holy Ghost and for the helper that he sent. Amen. Mm -hmm. And Amen. it says, and the Redeemer shall come to Zion. I'm talking about Jesus. He already done redeemed the church. Amen. Mm -hmm. Thank you for, for saving us, Father. Yes, but he Lord. but he gonna come in, when he come and redeem the Israel, the Jews, Amen. When they when they see who he is, Amen. And unto them who turn from transgressions in Jacob, says the Lord. As for me, this is my covenant with them, says the Lord. My spirit that is upon you, and my words which I have put in your mouth shall not depart out of your mouth. Mm -hmm. This is the blessing, family. Mm -hmm. Nor out of the mouth of your seed. No out of the mouth of your seed, see, mm. says the Lord, from hence forth and forever. Amen. Means though you are saved, right? Yeah. You blood ball, you preaching the word to your kids, right? Yeah. When they get old, they're gonna speak to their kids, Come right? But when they get old, they're gonna speak to their kids, yeah. right? Yeah. But when they get old, it's gonna keep on going and keep going. That's why you raise up a child yeah. in the way they ought to go. So when yeah. they get older, they will not depart from the word. They will come yeah. back to him. Yeah. 
Yes. Amen. Because it'd be an anchor that holds us. Amen. I remember the part in a little bit. Amen. Like a prodigal. But I came running back to the Lord. Yes. You remember that, don't you, Sharice? Every one of us, Lisa, uh, the name, yeah. the anchor still held us. God would not let us know. Apostle, we had that grip. Amen. Amen. Mm. Yes. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I want to give you the definition of righteousness in the Greek. The Greek word is di kason. D I K A I O S U N E. And you can find it in the Strong's uh, Dictionary Bible. The Greek Strong's number 1343. It says, usually, if not always in a Jewish atmosphere, justice, justness, righteousness. Amen. I'm talking about the Lord. Mm -hmm. Righteousness of which God is the source or author, but practically a divine righteousness. God is the source of the righteousness. Amen. Amen. Goodness gracious. He's the author and finisher of our faith. Yes. He is yes. who he is. That's right. This is awesome, man. Uh, I was on a prayer night with my friends on Monday. No, Wednesday morning before our prayer night conference. And uh, he was talking about, um, I just can't get over it. <laughs> and I said, we, we always talk about that. I am sufficient. I am all enough. Man, it stirred my spirit. I tell you, man. God is good. Amen. And greatly to be praised. Amen. All the time he's good. Hallelujah. And then in Isaiah 32 and 15 says, 18 says, until the spirit be poured upon us from on high, mm -hmm. and the wilderness be a fruitful field, mm -hmm. and the fruitful field be counted for a forest, then judgment shall dwell in the wilderness, mm -hmm. and the righteous remain in the fruitful field, and the work, watch this, and the work of righteousness shall be peace. Do you got peace in your heart this morning? Mm -hmm. Glory be to God. Glory. This is the work of, working of righteousness through the Holy Ghost. Yeah. And the effect of righteousness, quietness. In yes. assurance forever. It don't matter how loud and boisterous it get around you. Hey Amen. You can have that peace in your heart. That's right. It'll be a still, if you be so calm and still in your spirit. And my people shall dwell in a peaceable habitation mm -hmm. and in a sure dwelling and in quiet resting places. Amen. Amen. And see, that's what the uh, the Holy Ghost will do through righteousness. Amen. Mm -hmm. He will pour, pull out a spirit upon us. A lot of people do not. When you we'll put it like this, when you receive Christ, you get the Holy Ghost. Now it's time for you to get filled up. Amen. That's my prayer that you get filled up with Amen. the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. We gotta we gotta uh, scratch beyond what, what you have got. You know, you got a little bit tad bit. Now you need to get the whole shebang. Amen. That's right. Amen. I'm telling you, when you get the, filled up with the Holy Ghost, a lot gonna change in your life. You're not going to want to do some of the things you want you to do. I'm guaranteed. Guaranteed. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. Right. Praise be to God. Amen. Now turn to First Thessalonians. Chapter, chapter 5. Glory to God. Amen. A little bit of bouncing around today in the word, but amen. Amen. I like the choir like this in here. <laughs> Praise be to God. Y'all ready? We'll start at verse 8 through 11. Yeah, First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 8 through 11. Talking about the breastplate, y'all. Okay, y'all there? Yeah. Okay. It says, but let us, talking about the believers, who are of the day, who have been have had spiritual life, be sober. Mm -hmm. Speaks of assurance. Put it on the breastplate of faith and love. Don't you know if you you got all these gifts in you, you can speak in tongues, you can prophesy. You can do this and do that. Everything looks good or whatever. And you can be the best person and this and all of that. But if you ain't got love in your heart, mm -hmm. you don't have nothing. Yes. 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 You don't have nothing. I don't care what it is. You, I mean, a lot of preachers be up here without no love in their heart. That's right. And it might look, like, look good on the outside. Everybody's falling out all over the place. But guess what? That preacher ain't got love in his heart. Ain't nothing really happening. Amen. Nothing happening. We ought to keep love in our heart. Don't let the devil snatch the love out of your heart. Don't let them get you, because um, when you get, when love, when, when the devil take love out of y'all, your heart becomes stony, real stony, 
and hard-hearted. You, you know what I'm saying? You might have been through some tribulations and trials in your life. It could have been an abusive relationship, amen, or somebody could have stole something from you or feel like that God had not did something for you. You know, you, you become hard and hard if you don't have a spirit of forgiveness. Yeah. Amen. So we are to always love one another as Christ loved us. Amen. Amen. So guess what? Do y'all love one another this morning? Yeah. Did you tell somebody yeah. when you came in here that, you know, good to see you, you haven't seen you in a while. Um, we love you and we, we've been praying for you. Have you did that? Amen. If not, guess what? It's the time to shine. Stand up on y'all feet. Amen. That's what we do here. Y'all know when I preach, that's what I do. Get up. Amen. Get on your feet and get the movement. Amen. Get somebody hug this morning. Give you a chance to uh to, to stretch out your legs and stuff. Miss <laughs> all. Good to see you, baby. Come on, Dr. Love you. Love you. salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ who died for us that whether we wake or sleep we should not live together we should live together I'm sorry with him amen yeah. wherefore couple yourselves together that's why we come together amen we have amen. the house of worship to come together couple yourselves together and edify one another even as also you do amen we got to yeah. do this every day amen. sometimes good to call somebody and check them on charlie always go look out for the family and stuff he'll pop up over there else if you drive me go look out for people and stuff but it's good amen. everybody we need to look out for each other amen, amen. you ain't here from somebody in a while reach out tell them you love me you can text them or y'all be on facebook send a shout out like hey you know i've been thinking about you praise god Good to see my sister Lisa. Hey, I've been thinking about you. Praise God. Amen. I may tired, but God will give you some rest. <laughs> Turn to Proverbs chapter 8. <laughs> he talking, boo. He talking his mouth. That's a little tight back there. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 18 to 21. It's talking about his spirit. Proverbs is after the book of Psalms. Okay, y'all did? Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Talking about the Spirit. It's talking about Him, the Lord. It says, Righteousness, right, riches, and honor are with me. Yes, durable riches and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold, yes, than fine gold, and my revenue, revenue than choice silver. I lead. In the, midst, in the midst of the paths of judgment, that I might, that I may cause those who love me to earn substance and will fill their treasures. Do y'all love God this morning? Yes. Well, receive that blessing that I pray right now for yourself. Amen. 
Yeah. God said, if you love me, amen. He said, I lead in the way of righteousness in the midst of the paths of judgment. To his Holy Ghost, he would do all that stuff. That's why we seek to get filled this morning. Praise be to God. Yeah. I want my cup to run over. Amen. amen. Through my breastplate, through my helmet, through my sword, through my shield of faith, through right. my feet. Amen. I want everything. I want to be at peace with God. I want to be at peace with men and women amongst amen. me. I want to be at peace. With people at my job, amen, I want yeah. them to see the love of Christ shining through me. The Bible says, put on the armor of life. Put it on in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Keep Praise it on. Hallelujah. Don't take it off in the glory in glory to God. Yeah. Put no compromise. For well, nothing. That's right. People want you to take your arm off. Arm off. You take it off when you compromise with it. Mm -hmm. You yeah. take it off when you don't get in the word of God. You take yeah. it off when you don't pray no more. Yeah. You take it off when you don't show up. Mm -hmm. When you need to show up in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh. That's right. Thank you, Lord. That's Glory right. to God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep your arm on. Amen. Thank you. And to some of y'all, keep your clothes on. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Amen. Be real about it. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. the word. <laughs> okay, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, 21 says, For he has made him to be sin for us, yeah. who knew no sin, knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Mm -hmm. God died for us. Amen. Even for... for Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Jesus died for us. Yes, did. Do y'all get that? Thank you, Jesus. We don't have to do nothing but to trust and believe in him and follow That's him. Right. That's, it. That's it. Amen. That's all you got to do. What's so hard about that? We make it so hard. Yes. But we stop believing yes. and stop thinking that we ain't saved. You are saved in the name of Jesus. If you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord and Lord and he died for you for your sins, mm -hmm. then you are saved. Amen. Don't let the devil steal that from you. Mm -hmm. This joy that I had, the world didn't give it and the world can't take it away. Amen. Amen. Jeremiah 23 and 5 says, Behold, the day says the Lord that I will rise unto, raise unto David a righteous branch, mm -hmm. and a king shall reign and prosper and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. Amen. Amen. In his days, Judah shall be saved, and Israel shall dwell safely. And this is his name whereby he shall be called the Lord our righteousness. Yes. Say, Hallelujah. Lift your hands to the heaven. Thank Say, Father, Father, cleanse my mind. Cleanse my close your eyes. Close your eyes. I don't want nobody looking. Cleanse my mind. Cleanse my heart. Cleanse my thought process, Father. Pour out your spirit and fresh, Father. Father, I need it. Right. To make it through these lies and evil days. So thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord for pouring it out, for it out. On, me. on me. Now pour it yourself. Say on me. On in me. the name of Jesus. Give God a thunder clap of praise. Thank you, Lord. This, book, this is scripture for when you wake up in the morning. Proud chapter 15 and 34 says, Awake to righteousness. Hmm. Amen. And sin not. For some have not the knowledge of God. I speak this to your shame in the name of Amen. Jesus. And Ephesians 4 and 24 says, and that you put on the new man. God gave us a new man through the Holy Ghost. Keep it on. Thank Keep you. on armor. Don't take it off. Amen. Which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Amen? Yeah. This is what we do. This is how we prepare ourselves each mm -hmm. day. We prepare for the battle. Through the word of God. You hear me, uh, children of God? Mm -hmm. By building our faith. Mm -hmm. By maintaining an atmosphere of peace. Yeah. You want peace in your house? Who want peace in their house? Amen. Amen. Put on some gospel music. Mm -hmm. Put the gospel music. Let it play all day. Let it play all day. The Lord reminded me this morning when I was down here listening to the music. And I said, Dad, they know every song that we put is playing on there. And God said, good. They need to know it. Amen. Amen. And that's a good thing. Amen. Put on a gospel music. Uh, put on a preacher. Yeah. Don't put on 104.1 because you will get uh, a little leaven in the lump. Amen. <laughs> oh, it's not good. If you don't listen to something, put on 105.1 or put on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Get on some. It can be um Christian heart music, Christian piano music. Yeah, Let it play. Yeah, yeah. Keep your atmosphere pure and holy. Amen. Watch how the things start changing in your household. That person that was getting on your nerves, guess what? Gradually, they ain't going to be getting on your nerves no more. You need so much of peace. What they say and do ain't going to even bother you. Praise God. Yeah. Begin to pray more. Amen. When, when, when it, the Bible says when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will raise up a standard against yeah. him. Amen. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's the truth. When you begin to pray, he's going to raise up a standard. No matter what you're going through, 
No matter what you've been through, keep on the breastplate, amen. amen. Give God the glory, give him the praise and all that you do. When you have a little hot bowl of soup, say, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, you had a little peanut butter and jelly sound. That's one of the best sounds that's ever been invented in America yeah. or the whole world by that uh, song. Amen. <laughs> Tell them thank you. Amen. You might you might come home to a peanut butter and jelly. Amen. Even at the church, they said uh, the church dinners, you know. Yeah. Some people going home ain't, um, ain't going to have no meal. Amen. Put you on your nails then. Amen. <laughs> Glory be to God. <laughs> be thankful. But all you do is give thanks to God. And then Ephesians 4 and 24 says, And that you put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Walk in holy. God said, Be there holy because I am holy. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. And the, uh, of course, we all sin and fall short of God's glory. Amen. But the wages of sin is death. But you, the walk in holiness, it begins with this. It begins with this. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything you need and anything you need to know about is in this uh, in this Bible. Amen. He can show you how to walk right, That's how to right. talk right, how to live right. That's Amen. Right. How to be That's righteous, right. how to be holy. And praise be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You want to get riches? Uh, look at Solomon, for example. Amen. He didn't ask for riches. He said, Father, I just need discernment and wisdom how to judge these people. God gave him everything. Gave him that and Riches and glory be to God. Because some of us come to God, we want to uh, have things on our own. Like we want riches for our own self. We want to do this and do that. We don't want to bless us that way. God want to bless us so we can be a blessing to others. Amen. Right. Amen. And you yeah. be more of a blessing to somebody if you can pray for them. That's Amen. Right. Pray for me because I need it. I tell you that first. Amen. Amen. But sometimes I don't always have my breastplate on. I, I can be real about that. Amen. Amen. Sometimes I feel like I don't want to pray and I need a breakthrough. And guess what? I go to God. And God will help me get a breakthrough. Amen. Amen. He will breathe up in these lungs of fresh. Glory be to God. Because the Holy Ghost already did. Some of us just walking in dry lands in need of refreshing. Amen. Amen. So that's in those times when you dry, amen. You go to the well and you drink. Praise Hallelujah. be to God. Hallelujah. Yeah, 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 go to the yeah, word yeah, yeah. and you eat up his word. Praise be to God. Yeah. God yeah. said that those that hunger and thirst after righteousness mm, 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 right. shall be filled. Praise God. Yeah. Hallelujah. And he said, never have I seen a righteous forsaken or that seed begging bread. Yeah. We don't have to beg God for nothing. And really, when you hear I, I, I plead the blood, we don't have to plead for nothing. It's already been given to us. Amen. Yeah. All we got to do is apply. I apply the blood of Jesus of every mind in this yeah. place. And I bind up the hand of Python, the spirit of Python, off of each and every person in this place. In the name of Jesus, not loose a spirit of praise on you. God yeah. said, put on the garment of praise. Yeah. Hallelujah. And for the spirit of heaviness, go to God. He can save and deliver. Praise be to God. Amen. Amen. And Amen. then you, this is what we do. By maintaining the atmosphere of peace, by learning the ways of God and his righteousness, that's how we prepare for the battle each and every day. Amen. Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. That is my message. Thank you, Lord. So I want to read my last scripture. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Second Timothy chapter 4, verse 8 says, Y'all got to receive this one. Stand in your feet, tell you, Raven, please. Praise be to God. Second Timothy chapter chapter 4, and verse 8. Open your Bibles up and receive this because this is for us. For the righteousness of God. God loves us. Amen. We got, we got something to look forward to when, when we leave this place. I thank God for the mansion they have for me, Scott. Thank Anybody you. Lord. Know, man, this will be in his breath. Second Timothy chapter four and verse eight. Amen. If you if you ain't share with somebody. Glory to God. Okay, it says, henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness with the Lord. The righteousness with the Lord, the righteous judge shall give me at that day. Yeah. And not me only, not me only, y'all, but to all them also that love his appearance. Do y'all love God? Do you love his presence this morning? Yes. Do, can you wait for him? You can't wait for him to come get you and redeem you and bring you to him? Oh, Amen. Yeah. I love I love God appearance. Yeah, yeah, and I can't yeah. wait for him. Yeah. And I'm, I'm looking for this crown right here. Oh, so yeah. if, you, if you're that type of person this morning, guess what? You got that uh, stored up for you in heaven. Amen. Praise God. And give God a hand clap of praise. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory.